Hello guys! In this video I show you all my knowledge about Rally. Rally isn't really my speciality, but I think I learned enough uh, considering myself mature in this discipline. Keep in mind that I'll use mostly the third person view, the she's come, uh, in this video to show you better the reaction of the cars. Ready? Surface is extremely important because it has an influence on our driving style. Here is the classification in terms of grip from the lowest grip to the highest grip. Ice, snow, wet mud, dirt, tarmac. Lower is the grip, higher is the probability to drift or have understeer while cornering. And for that reason the cornering spin decreases. Also, with lower grip difficulty increases a lot. When you choose the tire for the stage, which is, uh, for example, 60% uh, tarmac and 40% dirt or snow, it's always better to choose the tire for the lower surface. In this case, the penalization in terms of loss of speed on the higher grip surface is lower than the penalization on the lower grip surface if you choose the tires for tarmac. In rally you can cut corners, but be careful when you cut. The surface changes on the cut part, and consequently the grip changes as well. Remember two important concepts I already explained to you in my previous videos. A fast steering move will make loose the grip on the rear tires of the car. But a slow move of the steering wheel will keep the car stable. According to that, if you want to make your car drift, especially on low grip conditions and for X reason you don't want to use the handbrake, make a fast steering move and your car will start drifting. Anyway, as I told you in my past videos, there is always one rule you have to follow. Limitate the steering wheel corrections. Do less corrections as possible. Pro drivers make a lot of corrections while driving, but they make them to make the car stable. So remember, steering wheel correction, correction to a mistake, loss of time. So, no mistake, no need to correct, no loss of time. Most of time in rally events you will drive all-wheel drive cars. In this case you have maximum grip on corners exits. This is the most competitive class of rally. It's ok for both beginners and pro, but keep in mind that these cars don't have less than 280 horsepower, which could be too powerful for some beginners. Current uh, World Rally Championship cars 
have 380 horsepower. Pretty high if you ask me. But Group B cars could reach even more than 500 horsepower. And unless you have a great experience, I suggest you to stay away from these cars. classes usually at the beginning of a career mode you'll drive front wheel drive cars these cars usually don't have more than 200 horsepower and they are the easiest one to handle because they tend to understeer especially in acceleration they are very intuitive to drive so if you are beginner in rally games start with this kind of cars keep right of a crash turn two left long tightens into two right, don't cut. Five right, into three left. In special classes, GT4, old cars and Group B, you can find rear wheel drive cars. These are the hardest ones to drive. Considering a four wheel drive car drift pretty easy on low grip surface and already, a rear wheel drive car drifts even more. So you have to be really, really sensitive with the steering wheel and throttle. So, even if uh, it isn't the most competitive class in rally, this is the hardest one. So, I suggest you to pick this class only if you are really experienced, otherwise uh, you'll crash after 2-3 corners. No, really, I'm not joking. Like steering, if you press the throttle suddenly, you lose the grip and the wheels will spin. If you press it slowly, you keep the grip. Anyway, pressing it all the way suddenly on purpose is something frequent in rally especially if you want to start drifting to enter a slow corner faster with a four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. Same story with the brake pedal. Be gentle with it. Otherwise you lock the wheels while braking, uh, which is pretty easy on low grip surfaces. A little reminder, in rally disable all the assists. Assists penalize you a lot, because in rally your car needs to drift a lot. So if you activate for example the texture control or even worse the stability control, you prevent the, the natural movement of the car, making you way slower. technique you learn in rally which is pretty hard to do with cars with manual transmission with clutch but easier with sequential transmission cars is the left foot braking. This technique allows you to drift better to end the exit better from corners, especially the slowest one, but also prevents or limitates the effect of turbo lag on turbo engine which don't feature the anti-lag systems. Hilto is useful as well, 
especially when you drive a real wheel drive car to make it more stable from the violent braking. Left to keep middle of a jump, 160. Slow, keep middle of a crest, 30. Turn one left, tightens. Keep middle of a long crest to keep left of a 60. But if you want to have a light oversteer while entering corners, don't use it. The engine brake will lock a bit the rear tires on rear wheel drive car, working like a sort of handbrake. Caution slow, fall, quite long of a crest, 40, turn unseen, heavy left. 80. Black crest, 60. And to finish, the end brake. Why and when you have to use it? As you know, it acts on the rear wheels. Handbrake is a precious alley when you have to take a tight corner and you want to improve the cornering steering angle of your car. Start holding the handbrake before the corner, press the clutch uh, to avoid stalling the engine, and start turning fast on the direction you want to take. I know, simple to say, hard to do, but it's something that requires practice. Even in my case I needed a lot of attempts and, and try and error to make it right. So follow the theory and be patient with attempts. Generally, you have two kinds of instruction for corners in rally. Personally, I consider the first one the simple one, with easy, medium, hard tight, fast, slow. Then you have the more precise one for corners. 10 degrees of speed angle, acute, hairpin, square, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and flat. After the speed angle, you have 5 degrees of duration of the corner. Short, generally you won't hear that because uh, it's implied. Long, very long, extra long, and uh, my favorite one. Extra, extra long, into caution, by right of extra, extra long, extra, extra long, 50, extra, extra long, tightens over jumps, 50. But uh, sometimes you get the word tightened. For example, left 6, tightens 3, means a fast corner is getting slower because it has lower angle in the middle of it. Unseen means uh, you are going to do a blind corner covered by rocks, trees or objects. 30, turn unseen head right. 80. Bumps, 6 right, tightens 5, 30. Don't cut means uh, literally don't cut the corner because there are no obstacles on the inside. In fact, uh, most of corners drivers uh, tend to cut them to take them as faster as possible. In other cases, the driver says the word keep follow it by the left, right, middle. He tells you where you have to put your car in the middle and after the corner or jumps, according to the obstacles and the hidden racing line. 
50. By right, and keep middle of a crest. 30. For right long, and Titans keep middle of a crest. Bump 40. Crest, also with small or long, is a part of the track which is hidden. So be careful, you can find surprises after the crest. Opens long. And for right. Opens of a crest. 30. 40, 50, 100, 500, 50, 200, etc. All these numbers alone are the meters of a street. Opens of a crest, Titans 2, Titans 30. I hope uh, you liked this video and uh, it will be useful to improve your knowledge and skills on your favorite rally games. See you in the next video!